Okay, now I will just uh, import this model from the project folder. Uh, content, textures, vegetation, trees, tree stump, source meshes. So I just import uh, both of these high, high poly and the low, low res. Flip Z Y axis import. Oh, it is perfect. Runs perfectly on the grid. Everything is fine. Now just uh, give it a name. Give it layers and the uh, side for now. Uh, I name it uh, Hello. You save the file. The same content folder. Naming is not that important for the max file. Uh, it can be anything. Uh, now I'll just import the uh, a high poly mesh. Import high source. Because by importing this, uh, once I uh, set the scene in max, I have to have both the both both meshes overlap exactly. Now it brought the texture with it. I don't know why, but anyway, it's, it's fine. Texture might look really bad here, but but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Uh, now this one is uh, just name this copy uh, paste. This is uh, high. Then save the file. Now if I check the how much density it is, statistics. I just do this triangle and election. Okay, so for the low poly, it is seven thousand two hundred, but that is okay. It is just for baking. And for the high poly mesh, it is 735,000. Less than a million, but that is very easy to manage. It's fine. But usually it will go around uh, 1 million or 2, 2 million triangles. But in this case, it's fine. Don't worry about the specularity. Maybe you can just fix it. Because we'll be applying a standard material. So right now, the material is, uh, I think, is uh, unknown. I'll change it to vendor setup. Changes to scan line, and we have standard legacy shader. So sign. That's fine. Like, because like you don't need that um, that many complex shader right right now. Okay. So next part is uh, is to start unwrapping this model. So. Uh, I'll use a max default unwrapper because I don't need any special tools for it. So the first change is to readable poly and I'm going to modify a list. Let's go to UV coin modifiers, unwrap UVW and I'm going to new editor. Okay, so I'll just keep it somewhere here. I still have both uh, both views okay so the best way so so, so that's a that is the unwrap, unwrap we had from from zbrush if you remember so check the lines here so loops are all going straight so that is good uh, except here which has a little bit of problem uh, so let me check where we are planning for it so just go into edge mode and just do an edge um, loop. So the loop is going correctly. No, no, it's not. So it has to be a full circle. So if you check here, how is the loop? So that is also going uh, about downwards. So what about this one? If I select these two and click on this, I think that's a perfect place to start the tiling from. So from here to the top, uh, 
will be tiling and from here to the bottom it will be unique so this is actually start from here so i'll just may just break it control b i so that is uh so that is where the break comes so from here to here you will see only custom from here to here you will see title work that's uh that's okay that's perfectly fine so i'll go to element mode just uh, move this element to the side and the, 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 this is the custom custom part so what i should do is i actually break it up into chunks um this control b break it uh find something like a nice uh, you know, uh piece again easy easily manage control b screen control b Uh, this one I want it to be slightly different here. What I can do is over here, this line with a chunk, move these chunks to some other. Unique part, unique part, unique, unique. Keep um, keep saving it. Because if something crashes, I'll have a good backup. Ah, no, doesn't. Break. Come and break from break this one. Keep it for now. And break this one. Okay, now I have uh, all the pieces. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll just uh, rescale elements just to make sure that everything is scaling properly. Rescale elements, yeah, that's fine now. Now just put the checker to checker pattern, texture checker, just to know the scales are fine. Looks like they are okay. Look at this square sizes; they all they all match. Now what I need to do is I need to make this into a tileable piece. So I need to straighten up all the loops. So I have customized a shortcut here for loops. What I should do is hotkey editor and under. Um, Unwrap UVW, so align vertically. So I have I have Alt V and align horizontally Alt C. So you can actually easily uh, add this to your customization for case. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, select go to move tool, select them one by one. Just just go to edge mode. Double click to select. Oh, element. Use element to se se select and just press for this Control C is horizontal. This is for all the loops here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it into a straight uh, square pattern. That will be for for each uh, easy for me to uh, use this terrible section. Now we'll do all the verticals. Um, Control uh, Alt V. Have a perfectly uh, flat square buoys. So right now, what I'll do is uh, I'll move this to this section on the right hand side because this is where the, the tiling part will start. As per my plan, and for the unique pieces, I'll move them to the side and just arrange them there. Try to squeeze in as much uh, space as you can because. We need a lot of uh, need the best uh, resolution possible. So save the file. And move them to so this to the spot. So left side I'm planning to uh, to use it as as the uh, tileable section. I mean 
sorry uh, the the unique section and squeeze the parts as close to them as possible so sometimes the shapes may not be able may not let you squeeze squeeze in properly but try to your best find patterns like this like uh, you have you have a see a shape that goes in so find another shape that that has the somewhat the similar uh, part which you can squeeze in um, so this is a toilander pass basically so you had to try out the different chunks and see which chunks goes where this vision miss but never rescale it never scale it like like this because you can you can lose a lose the resolution and make it not um, tile properly also sometimes you may have to break the chunk depending on the your needs so here i'm just breaking this because i find uh, after breaking like it gives me much more easier results to arrange it here like somewhere like this for example okay now uh, this look there's a bit of gap here so select everything scale it up um, so if you press control control alt and scale you can scale up everything uniformly um, let me see try again so this one should be good so if you look now like uh, we lost a lot of space just by scaling it up Let's rescale elements again. Okay, so now I had I just scale it down. There's a problem with the scaling. Okay. So another technique I I uh, I use just to match the UVs is use this as a guideline for for where you want to and the unique pieces so here you can see three checks are like so three checks wait i'll hide this and this so this this extends up to one two three four uh three four five five boxes so i have about three boxes left here so it's like eight by eight uh, i have three boxes so you can use this three three boxes to to, to arrange the unique unique part it down, it down it lightly. So bring it here. It's exactly three boxes, so you can go up to here. Two, three. Anyway, we'll be coming back to uh, to fix it. Uh, fixing any problems at, 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 at a later stage because this is not the final unwrap. I just squeeze in as much as I can here. A little bit problematic. Let's try it this way. Okay, so now we got a good, uh, somewhat good unwrap. The pieces are all uh, similar size. Let's try and go for a big with this. Um, save it. So I'll bring this tree into Unreal just for testing. So close this corner. Um, and so I guess it's all good. So collapse the stack save it so since we have the low poly you can export this into uh, for testing so i have made a button here export selected selected to the project folder so i'll use the same texture folder for the vegetation trees uh, this one i'll make a separate folder called substance so 
of sense and mesh for big. This OBJ tree big low. So this one I'm gonna flip it. Don't respond to the the library. Turn that off. Uh, text code. We need we need a texture coordinates. We need normals. So we'll, so we'll keep scale as one and export it. Same thing for the high poly. By the time I will launch the substance designer, so we'll have some different time. So for the high poly mesh, do the same thing. It's first selected three big. Okay, so that is done. Now I'm going to open it in the designer. Okay, now we just um, start a new package. Which is graph uh, for this um, I will keep the size to 4k by 4k and you can just name it as tree um, bark zero so keep it as metallic rough, roughness so everything else the same keep okay now I got a default uh, view of this I'll just save the package Save as vegetation trees, tree stump, tree park is good, it's fine. So, here is fine. Now, I will uh, import some resources. So, I'll just link it so I can just uh, keep the file size low. Uh, wait, I'll just first uh, give link 3D mesh and the textures, same trees, tree stump. In this option mesh for big just import these two so i got the mesh uh, now resources i just link uh, textures so i just need the color map that's it the textures vegetation trees tree stump i have this uh this color map the albedo from the from the from the asset we got from the gas cans because we need that to pick the albedo so others are not needed so everything else we will just get it from the mesh save the package so inside this here uh, we just click on this tree big low right click and big model information so that will open this uh, uh, big window you have all the, the, the uh, this is the uvs uh, which we have seen earlier which we unwrapped inside max so keep it as 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 is we will be updating this l a lot uh, so we are going to select the uh, high definition mesh from resources tree big high then everything else is fine so uh, it, baker changed to 496 default format the png is fine interlacing is fine by default uh, then change the Texture save folder. So we are going to save it into uh, tree stump, then into substance folder because we can just keep everything organized. So the folder, uh, these are all in, oh, okay for now. We have to check if it is okay. It's fine. And add bigger. So add bigger. First, uh, I'll do no map from mesh. Add bigger. Transfer texture from mesh. So, so, so that's what we want. So under this, tiny space is fine, Direct is fine, texture file, choose file from resources, we have the albedo, we want, then we will uh, bake and, and have an occlusion, occlusion map from mesh, everything is fine, uh, then we need a curvature map from mesh, so with that, all, 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 all of our necessary maps are done. Now save baking setup and let's hit on. 
start render. It might take might take some time, but sometimes it'll be fast. Okay, so I think we have some holes. So if we go to normal map, if you zoom in really close, so we go to ambient occlusion. Yeah, uh, if you go really close here, you can see a gray spot. So this gray spot is uh, she's there because because of the frontal and rear value. Because it is it is not it is not uh, it is not getting all the high poly information because we need to set distances. So I think this is a rear value. I'll change this to. 0.05. Now let's dig again. I think this time it is good. Now, once rent is done, uh, we will take a look. Now let's see the M occlusion. Now it has some more details in it because it was, was gray earlier here. This is good. So all these are good. Look at the deepest uh, locations. If, if if you have all the information, then it is fine. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, we'll keep this. Now I can just save baking setup, close it. Now bring slowly bring bring this maps into the graph view. I'll change this scene into a plane. Be fine. So three big normal normal map. Coming normal map to normal. It looks fine. Now here 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 is the problem. Here uh, the normals are like, like phasing outwards. That is because of the uh, Baker is now DirectX. So if, if you want to change it and just use a, a normal invert node. So this is just you can actually uh, invert green is there. True. So get it here, shift move here. Then you can find that so all the crevices are going in. So now they are in the right position. Okay, so normal is here. Then we have the uh, color map. So, no, this is the what is this one? Yeah, transfer texture from mesh. So this is transfer texture from mesh. So you just baked in. So you can see all the details. Like baking all the information now. If you go zoom zoom really in, you can see noise, but that is perfectly fine for us. And then um, AO map, we'll keep it here for now. So very nice uh, AO big. Then curvature. So we so we so we can use curvature for some specific purpose, uh, but keep it there for now, but not immediately. So color map here, normal. I'm in equation. So what we'll do next is, I want to um, get more information from the from the M occlusion because, because we need to remove AO from the color map. So what we'll do is, I will use the uh, normal um, normal to height HQ uh, and um, HBA. So uh, this is a really nice like height based uh, MN occlusion. You can use that to generate really, really good quality AO. So getting this uh, from, from normal. Normal to height. Uh, move to here. And this looks like uh, too much of information I think. Yeah, just, yeah, just repeat open geo. So right now. I got a really nice. Let me just keep this uh, AO here. Okay. 
So release the height value, relief balance, uh, intensity around 0.25, that is too low. Uh, make it like 0.5, that is good. And I'm inclusion height depth is uh, maybe 0 0.05. Yeah, that gives a good good result for the AO. Now just mix this AO with this one. Um, blend node. Uh, you can just multiply this with this. So here, this here, use a uh, multiply. So you can have you can see this. Uh, so without without the AO mixed from the node map. Uh, you, the the air was like very very flat uh, because of the because of the white regions here it it, it didn't have much de details on it so once we got the normal map I mean amenity question map from normals you can see it is uh, it is more detailed so let's name this loop as uh, amenity question AO. move this slightly so richer all of these here. I'll just name this as AO. Uh, AO. Okay. And uh, now we'll step on to removing the lighting from color. So this is a uh, this is a this is the albedo we just picked from the texture. Okay. Uh, now first 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 we need to remove the AO information. So it has a lot of uh, Amenclusion information you can't see it from here, but once we remove it, you will know it has to be really flat. So let's see. Um, AO removal, AO cancellation. So AO cancellation needs uh, needs color and AO. So let's get the amenclusion from here, which has really good details. Now right away you can see that it is like uh, taking away all the information of AO in it. So here this is the default. Uh, bake and after you remove the amin occlusion you can see it like this so now it's already flat you can see all the details inside the shadow areas to look here had a lot of uh, you know dark shadows which were covering up the some details from here it's good now you can see there are a lot of uh, bright and dark areas so this is bright dark that's because of the lighting information so so here we'll what we'll do is we'll first get uh, remove lighting. No uh, lighting, lighting cancel. So we'll try both of these low frequency and high frequencies. Lighting cancel low frequencies. So uh, I cannot say which one will be best, but we'll try. So let's try this. Right, right, right off the bat. See the difference it makes. So here, this is with uh, uh, with lighting and without lighting. So now it's almost uh, flat. The only problem is it is too bright head areas. So this is low frequency. Now let's try the high frequency. Keep it here. High frequency usually makes it a bit bit too flat because it will remove all the details from it. So you can to get them back. If you check here. So it just removes all these bright spots and, and, and makes it flat. So I don't want that to happen. So what I can do is um, adjust the intensity of the high. So bring it down a little bit. It's all a kind of uh, trial and error. So this is better than the previous one. Still, there is a bit of uh, light, light, light information, but you can actually, you can easily do that with, uh, with further down the line. So this is color. So I will have more details on it. So color and connect this to here. You can see now it is like now our tree is like looking really good. Now is the roughness. So roughness. Uh, we don't we don't like we did not take any roughness map out of this.
So what you can do is you can use the uh, color map mixed with the amine occlusion because for the for the for the deep areas like this is here, it'll be a little bit more wet, but at the, at the surface it'll be mostly dry. Okay, look at the tree um, render. You can see this kind of this kind of little bit of smoothness on on here. I mean, it has to be opposite. So in the crevices, it'll be dry, but sur sur surface like wherever that is that is close to the outer edge of the trunk, it'll be more smooth. So inside designer, let's get that effect. You can use curvature as well as well here a little bit because curvature has a lot of deep big information. So those places can be slightly wet. So we'll keep the map there. Um, now first we'll convert this to and run to an HSL just to get that remove that um, color. So now it's like desaturated. Now I will blend this with a bit of a amine occlusion. Uh, bring the AO in. I need a real gradient. So the AO mixed in uh, and multiply. So you got this. Okay. So. Uh, it has to be like uh, now. Now reference is reference is like saying this this part is rough, this part is not not rough. So I need to invert this. So now I will convert this into grayscale. So grayscale grayscale conversion grayscale. Now invert invert grayscale. So that is now our roughness map. So this is like this is these are deep areas and this is the outer area. So this is the deep 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 areas are rough, and the surface is mostly smooth. So just uh, use this. Roughness and connect this to here. This is up now. Let's look. Oh, it's pretty good. How about trunk is like you can see that the bark has a nice, uh, you know, smooth surface on it. Now we have a lot of work to do on this, but this we can use as a test. So for the first pass, this should do. So we did. Um, so we imported all the all the geometry into Designer. We baked the. Uh, uh, Albedo, normal, um, curvature, and AO information. Then we brought all the maps into the center graph. Then we uh, removed the AO and lighting information from from Albedo, and we brought the roughness map into it. And the rest will just keep back keep keep, keep as the, the, the uh, default. You can even bring an amine occlusion, but right now uh, we will plug the amine occlusion separately in a separate channel inside. Uh, Unreal Engine. So for the AO, I will bring it as this here. Uh, it might be a little bit uh, too dark here, but we can adjust it in the in the engine. So yeah, that's pretty good. Even run this uh, color map through a sharpen mode just to get that final effect. So height we don't need metallicity. Man, metallic is black is good black is what we need and uh, color has to be run through a sharpness mode so sharpen keep it as uh, really low maybe around uh, 0.3 or something and let's try how it looks Point three is too maybe too much. Uh, maybe press point two five. Yeah, that's pretty good. Point point two five is good. Should not have any noise on. That's why I say zoom out. Uh, that's good. 
Okay, and now let's export, export all the textures uh, from this. Curvature, I'm oh, sorry. Um, this curvature, keep it there for now. We will use it later once we fine tune it. Now, export outputs. Uh, let me find out the location. Uh, tree stump, trees. Uh, we'll bring this, bring everything, every, every texture into, into here. Okay. This is a final export folder. So, Torvision Targa is fine. So we have base, base, base color, normal, roughness, metallic, and enrichment. Metallic, you don't need. Okay, this is just a black. Export outputs. Uh, so right now we are exporting at 4K. So for the final resolution, we need to reduce that. We cannot have 4K for the final resolution. So I'm planning for 2K. So we have a material blend or material um, transform. That's all. So this actually has has just one. Uh, one node. Uh, we are not going to blend any materials. So uh, diffuse no, uh, base color, true, normal true, specular no, closeness no, roughness yes, metallic uh, metallic we don't need. Um, height no, AOS. So just uh, bring in these. Three. Normal roughness and uh, an equation. Okay, and then just change the size to uh, Uh, so final output is like 2048. 2048 we have input as um, the 496. So that is perfect. Okay, save it and export all this. Everything is good. Put done. Now we'll just bring this into Unreal and see how it is. In Unreal Editor, uh, just keep this place as for just for the uh, for this in the tree. In browser, uh, I got textures, vegetation. Sorry, textures I, I can directly bring in and um, import. Uh, tree bark. All of all, all trees have been imported. Let's save it. So this, this one I'll keep for for testing in Unreal for now. Uh, export. This is vegetation trees, wall tree. Just save it as uh, so. I'll save it as an uh, FPX. Mm. Now this is test. In Unreal, uh, just um, so I so in wall tree, input that tree in tree here. Content uh, meshes, vegetation, uh, trees, wall tree. So this is a test FPX. Import it. Do not create material. Import. Uh, so we don't have material so for, for, for this so far. So with the material in new material mm. wall tree box. So for this wall tree box we'll keep it the same. I'm not going to change it. So in this material we okay, tab here. So in the content drawer and if you look at the textures, just get the tree. So this is tree and manipulation. Uh, or roughness. Okay, all these. In here, so I'm just going to make a test material here. Uh, let's just see base color. Roughness. Mm. 
it is normal time magnetization. So save it. Okay. Look at the map uh, for the mesh uh, vegetation trees. One tree, open this. I played that material in the, the, but the screen might be off, so that is what I'm trying to take a look. Um, so wall tree bark. That looks fine. Let's try and bring the screen to a grip. So this tree is right now is very very small. So the textures are fine. Everything's looking good. Uh, only thing is like the the scale. So I cannot use this tree for the wall right now because it's uh, it is too too small. So let's try scaling it up. Inside Max, we just save it. Um, I have a mannequin, so we're gonna use to. Oh, that's doesn't bring it okay. So it feels more small. So the tree it looks really small. I'm just scaled up. So I'll make a copy of this because this is a low, low, low body mesh we, we use for baking. So just make a copy. Um, mesh for test. So okay. So scale it up, scale it up, scale it up. Maybe like the size should be good for the trunk, I think. Use the text form. Export again. <coughs> Unreal, let's try re importing it. Yeah, that is uh, that is pretty good scale scale. Now let's try going into the play mode and see if it will if it will fit. Now I'm going to play. Now let's try. Yeah, that is pretty good. That's good. I have a co collision problem with the rails because uh, it won't let me do it properly. Okay, that's a good tree. <laughs> if you want to make it uh, even even bigger, then it's fine. We can we can do it. It's unreal. Um, nothing is going to stop me from doing it. Now let's uh, bring this tree up there. Um, I, I might need a bigger scale, but I can scale it in unreal. Uh, so let's bring the tree here. So this is where I'm trying to bring it. So the plan was somewhere around like this. So at this side, so if you look at the human scale, it is really huge. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just scale it up in sound real. Uh, rotate it slightly and check to which rules are good. So maybe this side rules are better. If it is more longer. Like this, maybe not your player height. Uh, 